the Safari Rally, a legendary event. Shorter format for the modern age, but hugely demanding all the same. Contrasting challenges and hazards throughout. Rocky sections that call for extreme caution, tackled at little more than walking pace in some parts. The notorious fesh fesh, deep, dusty, soft sand where it's easy to get bogged down. The constant threat of torrential downpours, transforming conditions in an instant. Deep water and slippery mud replacing dusty roads in a matter of minutes. Expect the unexpected. I'm really looking forward to go to Kenya, honestly. Looking forward to see what, what the adventure is going to be like. I've obviously, you know, followed the event last year. I've been listening to a lot of the guys that have done, done the event last year and the amazing adventure that they had there. So um, it's obviously an incredibly, you know, uh, uh, traditional uh, event and it's got a lot of history, a magical event really, you know, one of the, one of the biggest events in the World Championship going back sort of 20 or 30 years ago. So um, definitely looking forward to going back there again, uh, you know, and, and seeing, uh, seeing what it's all about. It definitely was a... A different adventure. I mean, uh, rallying is all about adventures, but Kenya was a complete whole new adventure for us. Uh, the whole scenery, the, the location, uh, the stages, um, these this wild parks, everything was new and uh, everything felt a bit strange in the beginning. But uh, once we, we got into the rally car, back into in our, in our familiar car, we start having a good feeling immediately. I enjoy the stages a lot, um, despite the the demanding challenges and the roughness and uh, and the fish fish as well and some of the stages where actually competitors got stuck due to the deep parts. Among those to succumb to the infamous fish fish last year, Toyota's Cali Rovampera. The Finn had been going well, trading the lead with Thierry Neville on Friday before getting well and truly stuck on the final stage of the day. First time going to Kenya and Safari Rally last year was, was really in interesting. The beginning of the rally looked quite good for us. I was enjoying the, the challenge, a bit different style of driving. You cannot push all the time flat out. You need to manage sometimes. And uh, then we had a, a bit uh, a bit tricky situation in the fresh fresh and got stuck. Couldn't really do much there. And the rest of the event was quite good. So hopefully this year it's gonna be also, I think, big challenge. A lot of kilometers, I think more than normally we have in the, in the rallies. So a uh, long rally will be tough for the cars and for the drivers. So let's see what we can uh, manage there. It's going to be a bit more survival rally, I think. Kala Rovampera leading the crews into the Kenyan wilderness as current championship leader and hoping for better luck this year. Much the same for Toyota teammate Elvin Evans, who also succumbed to the local terrain last year. A hidden rock wrecking his rally on the opening morning. All part of the learning curve. Having a bit of knowledge of what's to come will be will be useful, I think, what to look out for. Um, but still, uh, it's never going to be a, an easy rally, I don't think. You know, it's still one of the most, well, probably is the roughest and, and most challenging that we have on the calendar. WRC Plus, all live.